Be sure to catch the next episode of Just Talking It Up on iTunes, Stitcher, your favorite podcast app, or on the web at bigbrainsmedia.com. Hey, you forgot our names. No. You did? You forgot our names. Don't be silly. I'm Janet. You're a crash. See? (laughs) She's just like a goose. She wakes up in a new world every day. Hey, hey, it's the afternoon edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Monday, the 21st of January. I'm James Spann. Tonight should be the coldest night so far this season. Get ready. Let's check some of the Skycam shots around the network. These were captured at mid-afternoon. First off, coming from Clanton. High clouds there. The winds have shifted around to the north. There's our Demopolis Skycam. And goodness, look at the level of the Tom Bigby. The river is in flood and will stay in flood for days. As all that rain from last week is blowing down south. And you know where the water goes? Goes down here. That's our Gulf Shore Sky Cam. Uh, the sky there is uh, sunny. Well, filtered sunshine. And again, they've got uh, mid level clouds up at about 15 to 20,000 feet, but the sun is getting through. You can clearly see the cold air beginning to work in from the north. Those are temperatures captured at 2 o'clock. We've got 40s up in the Tennessee Valley, 50s around here, Birmingham at 52. You cross the front. Feels pretty good at Montgomery. They've got 66, but everybody goes in the cold air tonight. And man, is it cold up north or what? It's bad cold. I mean, we've seen wind chill indices in the 50 below zero range over North Dakota and Minnesota. Uh, Actual air temperatures uh, at midday are way below zero. In fact, they're colder than 12 below zero in many spots up north. But thankfully, the amplitude is not excessively high, so uh, a lot of the core of that will stay north of us. But still, we think tonight will be the coldest night so far this season. There are wind chill advisories up north for those uh, dangerously low wind chill indices. And down this way, the counties you see in green, those are river flood warnings for parts of the Black Warrior and the Tom Bigby in West Alabama. And again, that's runoff from the rains we had last week. Additional rain for the next five days, a little bit, maybe one half inch or a little more. Uh, Friday and Friday night with the uh, next cold front coming in. Let's take a look at modeling. This is the GFS, the uh, 12Z run, valid at 12 noon tomorrow at 500 millibars. And you can see the trough is not that deep in the east. And man, we can be thankful for that because... Any deeper, it would be really cold, but it's going to be cold enough. We'll start the day in the low to mid-20s tomorrow morning. The uh, GFS is printing 23. Up until now, the lowest this season for Birmingham, 26. Uh, And we're going to have a wind tonight, you know, a north wind of 5 to 10. So the wind chill index, you know, early in the morning will probably be in in the teens around here. The day will be sunny and cold, the high in the middle 40s. These are the projected temperatures off the two kilometer NAM at uh, noon tomorrow and look at uh, Huntsville you know I think showing 31 and I'm telling you that the models might be too warm here uh, the the high resolution NAM suggesting we might have a hard time getting out of the 30s over the northern third of the state and that's probably right with the 40s down to the south whatever a cold dry sunny day Wednesday I think the morning will be very cold again with uh, low to mid 20s the wind will be light this time so we'll have a big range with the uh, radiational cooling, the, the colder valleys will be colder, ridge tops warmer, but will be well down in the 20s early Wednesday. Then during the day, we should start to warm up. A pretty decent chance we see 50. Thursday, the warm up continues with mid 50s. And Friday, got a trough up to the north. Down below that, a surface low is east of Cincinnati with a trailing front. And along that front, you got a batch of showers. And behind that front, a 1,037 millibar high, more cold air. And uh, in terms of timing, it looks like the rain should begin Friday afternoon. This is Friday night at uh, midnight. The rain really starting to taper off. So uh, maybe the window for rain, 4 p.m. until midnight Friday and Friday night. And notice the cold air advection kicking in. And on Saturday, it looks dry and cold. We'll start the day below freezing. Highs will be in the 40s. Uh, pretty brisk. The European is colder. I'll warn you now. Uh, it's got uh, uh, temperatures much colder. In fact, if this is right, we're not going to get out of the 30s on Saturday. And the European tends to be better with handling these medium range events than the GFS. So uh, for now, Saturday looks like a very cold and blustery day. Uh, Sunday will probably start the day well down in the 20s, but the winds veer around to the south and we start to warm up quickly a high should be at or just over 50 and a week from today 
Looks like a little rain tries to break out with a northward moving warm front. So uh, showers could very well be with us on Monday the 28th with a surface low developing uh, near Trinidad, Colorado. The following day, the 29th, a, a surface low is near Indianapolis. Nothing like the big one we showed you this morning. You know, the one this morning was 980, what, four millibars with a big blizzard for Chicago and Des Moines and places like that. This system not as strong. We'd have showers and storms. We're in the warm sector, clearly. And then on the 30th, the middle of next week, we get another cold air shot. All right, let's check the end of the forecast. Do we dare? This is uh, February the 5th. Big trough in the west. Very cold trough out there. Looks cold and snowy. Around here, a little shortwave ridge and a little mischief in the Gulf. And we've seen the GFS try and suggest that maybe some of these Gulf Coast runners, these surface lows that come across the northern Gulf or the Gulf Coast, but obviously there's not much consistency out there right now. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. Next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. And don't forget to watch us on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 on the live stream or the television side. And Weather Brains is tonight, live.bigbrainsmedia.com. That is at 830 Central. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening, and God bless. Hi, I'm Steve Sample with Bama Talk. Don't miss a single episode of Bama Talk Show available now on iTunes, Stitcher, or your favorite podcast app and on the web at bigbrainsmedia.com.